Hello, I'm Gillian Cross, and I'm going to tell you a bit about my book, Five Ways to Make a Friend. It's about a girl called Ella who goes to a new school where she doesn't know anybody. So to begin with, of course, she hasn't got any friends. I think I wrote this book because I can remember really well being in that position when I was a little bit older than Ella. I went to a new school and nobody I knew was at that school. And for the first week or so, I didn't have any friends at all. And I can remember that in break, I used to walk around as if I was going to meet somebody because I didn't want people to know that I was lonely. I didn't want them to feel sorry for me. But then one day, quite unexpectedly, one of the other girls said to me, will you be my friend? And we became friends. It was a huge moment. Um, she was my friend, not just all the time that I was at that school, but she's been my friend for the rest of my life from then onwards. We're still friends and she doesn't live anywhere near me now, but we're still in touch and we see each other from time to time. And it's always lovely. Um, what happens to Ella in this book is different from that. So I'm going to read you a bit of it. I can't read it all because it's too long. Um, but I'm going to read from when she walks into the class at the new school. And it's quite a small class. There's only 10 boys and four girls. Ella saw the four girls right away when she walked into the class. They were all sitting together at the back of the room, chatting. When Ella walked in, they looked at her for a moment and then they turned away and went on talking. No one smiled at Ella, except one of the boys at the front of the class. So Mrs Brown, the teacher, pointed at an empty chair next to him. Sit with Josh for now, she said, and the girls will show you the rest of the school at break. Won't you girls? One of the girls looked round. What? She said. Take Ella round the school at break, Mrs Brown said. Show her where everything is. Oh, OK, said the girl. But she didn't look at Ella. She went on talking to the others while Mrs Brown called the register. So Ella sat down in the empty chair. Hi, said Josh softly. He was the boy who'd smiled. Hello, Ella said back. But she was thinking about the four girls. Were they going to be friendly when they took her round in break? So the girls were at the back of the class. But Ella could hear them talking all the morning. So by the time it was break, she'd worked out all their names. So there was Tanya, who had long blonde hair and a very loud laugh. There was Cara, who looked like a model. There was Rose, who was crazy about horses. And there was Daisy, the top girl, who bossed all the others around. Ella remembered their names but they didn't remember hers. It's time to show Ella round the school, said Mrs Brown when the bell rang for break. Ella who, said Tanya. I think it's the new girl, said Daisy. She nodded at Ella. Come on then, new girl, let's get going. And Daisy set off along the corridor with all the other girls behind her. And they went so quickly that Ella had to jog to keep up. Here they are, all racing round the school. As they went, Daisy pointed at the rooms they passed. That's the library, she said, and the canteen and the head's office and the gym. Help, Ella thought. She's going too fast. I'll never remember it all. But she was too shy to ask Daisy to slow down. And so they went round the whole school in five minutes. Then Daisy said, that's it. OK, new girl. And she didn't wait for Ella to answer. She nodded at the other girls and they all ran out into the playground. Ella ran after them, but they didn't look back at her. For the rest of break, she saw them laughing and talking, but she was too shy to join in. She just stood in the corner of the playground all on her own. It was horrible. Chapter two, the perfect book. I need to try harder, Ella thought. I have to show the other girls that I want to make friends. Maybe I can sit with them at lunch. So at lunchtime, she looked round for the other girls. 
They were all sitting together, talking and giggling as they ate their lunch. So Ella took her tray across to their table and sat down next to them. Hello, she said in a very small voice. But the girls didn't even look up. They were making much too much noise to hear her. And soon they jumped up and ran outside and Ella was left looking at a plate full of pasta. She ate it very slowly, trying not to cry. After she'd finished, there was still half an hour of lunchtime left and she didn't want to go outside. Nobody will talk to me, she thought. It will be just like break. Then she remembered the library. Everyone had to be quiet in the library, so it wouldn't matter if nobody talked to her. She could find a book and read until the end of lunchtime. So she goes to the library and when she gets there, there's nobody there at all except Josh, the boy who sits next to her in class. He looked up and smiled at her when he saw her. Hi, Ella, he said. Is everything going OK? Oh, yes, yes, Ella said. She didn't want him to know how unhappy she was. I, um, I just came in to find a book to read. This is good. Josh showed her the book he was reading. You could try the first book in this series. It's over there. Oh, thanks, Ella said. I'll have a look. Josh went back to reading his book and Ella walked towards the shelf he pointed at. But before she got there, she saw something else. A book called Five Ways to Make a Friend. That was just what she needed. She pulled it off the shelf and sat down to read it. Got no friends, said the book. Try one of these five great ways to make new friends. So these are the five ways. You could bake some cakes to share with your friend-to-be. You could tell them when they've done something good. You could find a new hobby to make them interested in you or invite them to a party or save them when they're in danger. So that's five ways. That's baking, telling them when they've done something good, finding a new hobby, inviting them to a party or saving them. So what's Ella going to choose? Ella was very excited. She was going to pick one of these to try and it didn't take her long to choose because she loved baking and everyone said her cakes were amazing. So tomorrow she was going to come to school with a big tin full of cakes. So I'm sorry I can't read you the rest. It would make this video too long, but you can find out by reading the book and I hope if you do, I hope you enjoy it.